so we finished the garage. You can see it looks nice and clean and evenly spaced. Come around and then the power is continuing to flow here to the bottom of the garage. And now we're going to start the stake light. So we've already added the female. Again, always have a female as the power source and you're plugging back in with the male and they've added the male to the end of this string of uh, C9 sockets. And now we're going to add stakes. Pretty easy process. The stakes have a little uh, loop on it where you put the cord in up under. It keeps it firm in there. And then the socket just gets pushed in there. Something like this, you just come down under the gutter spout. You want to keep it nice and clean. Um, and again, as you continue to install these, we've already installed them. Uh, you want to keep the lights on. So you just do each of those, and often we'll do that in the warehouse and already have a uh, whole 100 bulb pre-rolled stake, so it makes it easy once you're out in the field, but you can do it in the field also. The key is you want to make sure that these lights are all at the same height, so you get a nice even look across there um, from a distance and up close, and it's just one continuous line. Now, we don't do uh, the sidewalks much we try to stay away from them from them as well as the driveways um, we try to keep the driveway uh, and sidewalks without c9s in the stake lights because in the driveways you'll get customers running over them in their cars and you'll constantly be going back to replace them if you follow our program where we have a reservice which is really important for the customers and increases your price and same with the sidewalks you'll have uh, the male person or kids or different people that'll trip over them or so it's a safety hazard but also pull them up and then they'll want you to come fix them. So when we get to the end of these stake lights we're just going to be able to connect right here add another female again you're always going back to the power source of the female and then have a male and we'll get this window done here. So here we're going to go ahead and connect to these stake lights. He's uh, we put the female on there and again it, every time you put a connection, you really want to grease with that electrical grease inside the socket. That's really going to help with your waterproofing. And then you either put it up in a bush or around something like that downspout, keep it off the ground. Or if you don't have that, you can always use a stake and we can come back and get that done. Um, and then you run that lamp cord, that 18-2 wire. We're going to put it along that brick when we're done. You just want to put it out of the way neat where it's not visible. Again, putting the grease on the female on this end and then plugging in. We always want to plug in before we start putting them up. And he has his wireless cordless glue gun. And to just show you how much glue he's putting on here, it's less than a dime. He holds it for about five seconds if it's warmer weather. If it's cold, you really want to hold it longer, maybe 10 seconds. Um, the longer you hold it, the more stable it's going to be. Um, the, the more glue you put on, you're also going to make a bigger mess. So you just want a little dab, again, a little less than a dime, and hold it a few seconds. And that way, uh, if, it, if you're holding it long enough on the install, you won't have to come back. Inevitably, if it's, if it's sitting on there now and you're growing quickly, and the guys will tend to do that sometimes, is want to move faster um, when it gets cold or after time rain some of them will come off and you got to come back out and reinstall them and time is money as you know so uh, just take the time you'll kind of get a feel for what works again the weather is the biggest impact whether it's cold or not and then you just keep going around this window and we'll show you the final product when we're done